You've got to be kidding me. I might have to replace this $300 fuel pump because of a stupid, broken plastic nipple fitting. <laughs> well, I'm not going to replace it. I'm going to fix it. And it's going to be stronger than the day it left the factory. And this is the best fix on YouTube. Stay tuned and let's get it. So if you think you're going to take a tube of one of these, glob it on there, cross your fingers and hope it'll hold with just epoxy alone, you're going to be disappointed. It will leak every time. We've got to add some reinforcement. So what I'm going to use is this metal splice to joint the two ends together. Now this came out of a connector similar to this. Uh, you can just strip the plastic off or you can find them like this uh, and just buy it like this. You can also use a small barb that you can pick up in the hardware store. Uh, a small piece of copper pipe cut to size. Um, in this case, I like this one. Uh, the diameter is close enough to the diameter of the nipple, so I'm going to use it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is select the proper size drill bit and widen the nipple out just a little bit, not too much, just enough so that splice will fit down nice and snug. You want it to fit snug. Go ahead and do the other side. Now we're going to take our splice, press it into the pump side. Maybe give it a couple gentle taps just to make sure it's in there nice and tight. Take our fitting side and press it on. And that's tight, that's strong. It's got good side strength. Now let's seal it up. Now I've used tons of different epoxies in my day, you know, turning wrenches. Um, you name it, I've probably used it. Uh, but for this application, I like the seal all. Uh, it's oil and gas resistant and it dries really fast. Like two to six hours, it's fully cured. And a lot of times, you know, speed is of the essence. So that's what we're gonna use. Now, if you wanna take it a step further, there's actually a better sealant you can use for this application. I don't have it here. Uh, but it's called polyurethane sealant. Cody, the car guy, turned me on to this stuff. Definitely credit him for that one. And uh, it's hard to find in the stores sometimes, but you can order it on Amazon. So what I like to do is pull it back out sometimes, depending on the size of it and where, it's, where your uh, fitting is broken. Pull it back out and apply it as so. Pop it back in. Give it a nice press so it stays. And there you have it. And we'll go ahead and let that cure up. So I've got a little bonus tip for you on sealing these two pieces together. And this method does not include using epoxy. This method includes plastic welding it. And this is actually the way I prefer uh, it just feels like a more permanent repair. Now sometimes if it's broken in a specific spot, like maybe on the back side of that fitting and you can't get the plastic welder down in there, well, you know, you've got to use the epoxy. You don't have a choice. But if you can get the welder around the entire area of the broken pieces, plastic welding will definitely create a more permanent bond. And that's what we're going to do here. Harbor Freight sells this kit for like 15 bucks. And I would definitely recommend practicing before you go to work on your fuel pump or whatever other component you're uh, repairing. But you won't use epoxy here. And this is just a real permanent, surefire way to have confidence in the repair and ensure that it's not gonna bust apart on you. Now, like I said, definitely practice. Um, before going at it and I am not the authority on plastic welding 
There's plenty of other guys on YouTube that have more information and better techniques than I do about it. But if you can get to every area around the whole broken fitting, plastic welding is definitely the way to go. Boom. And that's that. The best way to permanently repair a fitting on a broken fuel pump, EVAP canister, I mean, it could be anything. Hey, I hope the video helped, guys. If you enjoyed it, definitely consider subscribing as more of these are in the pipeline. Also, share it. And show me some love and throw a comment or a like down below. Hey, take care, guys. Josh with JP Auto Fleet signing out, and I'll see you in the garage.